for the convection case, let's go into um, Fluent and turn on the energy equation and get it to solve the energy equation. I'll go to the project from the laminar flow or flat plate without heating. And since we are going to reuse a lot of this, I will right click on results and I will say duplicate. And I'll give it an appropriate name. I'll say convection um, and parental number of one. And then you can see that geometry and mesh are shared. So I cannot modify the geometry here. I'll have to go ahead and modify it here and it'll affect both this, uh, this analysis and this analysis. The geometry is the same because we are keeping the same domain and the mesh will use the same mesh as before. Now, Fluent, I can start either from set up a solution. I like to start it from solution usually because it loads up everything, including the values at the cell centers. So I'll right click on solution and select edit. And I will go, I'll turn on the energy equation by going under models, double clicking on energy, turning it on and OK. And if I go back to the energy equation, I have two additional material properties, CP and K, that I need to specify. So let's do that. That's under uh, materials, fluid, air. And because we turned on the energy equation, it's added CP and K to, the, to this dialog. So CP is one e to the power of four and K is one. And don't forget to click on change create. I, I made that mistake before and then close. Okay, so now it has the right form of the energy equation and I need to go and specify the boundary conditions and which we looked at before. Um, we need to give it the free stream uh, temperature over here and here. So far field one, edit, go under the thermal tab, change that to the free stream temperature, which is 400 K. Similarly for far field two, go to thermal, 400 K, and then we also need to give the temperature boundary condition at the wall. So I'll go to plate, edit, thermal, you see heat flux equal to zero. Adiabatic is the default, but we want an isothermal boundary condition. So I'll select temperature and 300 Kelvin is what we want. So at this point, the boundary value problem is completely defined and we can get a solution to it by um, initializing our guess values. So now we have an additional guess of temperature, which I'll set to the free stream. And I'll say initialize. Fluent has a solution in there, which I'll ignore and I'll just say re override it. And then I'll say run calculation and I will say 100 iterations calculate. And it's converged to 10 to the power of minus three. And I want to go down to 10 to the power of minus six in residuals as we did before. So I'll go under monitors, residual 10 to the power one e to the power of minus six for all of these. And I'll say, okay, run calculation, calculate, okay. And it converges in 95 iterations. Um, and it's all down below 10 to the power of minus six. That's just making sure that the linearization error is small enough. So at this point, we have uh, 
the cell center values of u, v, p, and t, v, uh, because we have a reasonably good solution to the system of algebraic equations. And so we can move on to post-processing. Uh, but before that, I will say file, save project. And because I started from WBPZ, it's, it's prompting me, do I want to overwrite? I'll say yes. You may not get this if you're working with WBPJ and I'll, I'll select everything and say archive. 